Uh, the first is search. Search is really useful to find individuals, to find businesses, to find jobs. You can also do advanced searching and where you can sort people by location, how you're connected, where they work, what their job titles are. There's all sorts of really great ways that you can sort this, the search and then try to connect with those individuals who fit your specific criteria. Okay, this is going to search all of LinkedIn. This is not going to search just your connections. You have that option and you can toggle that on or off. But the search functionality is one that I use quite regularly and you should be comfortable. My homepage. As I mentioned before, the navigation, you have the search option at this top corner. You can search for people, jobs, content. You can just type in, let's say I want to do uh, search for a company. I can search Realogy. Okay, Realogy Holdings Group. Perfect. Um, or I can click on this little magnifying glass and this magnifying glass is going to give me the opportunity to search um, in a much more granular way. Um, whether these are people I'm connected to or connections of my connections, where they happen to be, what current company they work for. Um, I can search for other content as well. It's just a really nice tool. You'll notice that throughout the whole experience, you have these ads, and they note, they note that this is an ad. Then these are your targeted or promoted content. So they are on every page. It's not just on the home page. So now we're going to it. The second is the home button. The home button is your personal news feed. Your news feed is going to bring in posts that are from connections, uh, individuals that you're connected to. It's going to bring in posts for the businesses that you follow. And it's also going to bring in advertisements as well. Now, advertising is a really important piece to making LinkedIn or any social platform a success these days. So we will be covering that in some more depth in just a few minutes. Jump over to the homepage. The homepage is my news feed. So it is really effective. It gives me a little snapshot of my profile, how many people have viewed it, or my articles, or articles I've saved, um, any business pages that you have, any hashtags or groups that you follow, what's recent. Um, it gives me all of these other posts that people uh, have, that I'm connected to have put out there. Um, if it's promoted or an advertisement, it will say that. Right here, it says that it's promoted, so it that's a pretty good indication that that is not something that I would come across organically. It's the same thing if we look over here, this ad from Lone Wolf Technologies, um, that's another uh, promoted or advertising tool. But what I really like is today's news and views. This will tell you how many people have read it. Um, so say goodbye to tiny hotel toiletries. Okay, it was posted four hours ago, but there were already 16,000 readers. Okay, well, that's pretty fantastic considering most of these others say 800, 900. So this is a really great way to know what content is going to resonate with your followers to make sure that you're always posting content that's valuable. For those of you on today's webinar, um, connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm, you're welcome to look at my profile. I'm happy to share best practices. Go to LinkedIn, send me a connection request. Uh, I'd be happy to, to help out with anything that you're working on here. The next is your network uh, or my network. My network uh, allows you to connect with suggested individuals or sync your existing contacts to then connect with them. Um, it suggests people based on other people you're already connected to, and it's actually a pretty great algorithm. Um, while a lot of people believe that it is scraping your email accounts, uh, I'm not, I don't necessarily believe that, but the people that I'm connected to or have sent emails with, uh, all of a sudden I start seeing them on LinkedIn. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm sure that there's something that's stored in cookies or cash or something that's uh, allowing LinkedIn to get that information, but it's really more useful than scary or sketchy in my opinion. The next is my network. My network is, uh, and I wish that I could have been doing this at the same time as showing those slides, but your network shows you a couple different things. Who you're connected with, what groups you belong to, what companies you follow, what hashtags you follow. Awesome. If you wanna 
import contacts. So people who are in your email platform or CRM platform, you can use this tool right here. Your contact import is ready. You just click continue. You can send an invite out. Um, if you're just getting started, this is one of the most important things that you do. Build that Rolodex. Build that network quickly. Um, when you connect with individuals, so uh, if I wanted to connect here with Meredith, I can just click connect. Through this page, this is the way that it'll just send that connection request. But when you're trying to connect with other individuals, uh, normally it's going to promote or prompt you to enter a, a request. So if you search for an individual, it's going to prompt you to enter a message when you're connecting with them. Tell them why you're connecting with them. Tell them that you, you belong to the same, uh, or maybe your kids go to the same school. Um, or belong, are on the same sports team, whatever it happens to be. And if there isn't a group related to parents of XYZ school or parents of soccer, uh, you know, I don't know, Lincoln Street soccer, whatever it happens to be, create a group, invite people to it. This is why you want to use LinkedIn because it allows you to connect with these professionals. These people are generally going to be spending more money when they're purchasing or selling a home, and you can build yourself as an expert and not just be posting personal things. I think a lot of people cross the line when they're using Facebook, and it's hard to balance personal and professional. LinkedIn is just professional, okay? That doesn't mean you don't know these people through personal things. It's just don't post those pictures. Um, Jobs. If you're looking for a job, if you're looking for an assistant or a partner, uh, this is a really great place where you can post. Uh, you can also do a lot of uh, searching functionality there, how recently it was posted, what the income or salary levels are, specific uh, phrases or keywords that are going to be in that job posting. The next is messaging. Messaging allows you to send the direct messages to your contacts or your connections. It also allows you to send them to anybody who belongs in the groups that you belong to. So that's great. There's also an additional tool, notifications. Notifications is a tab that's going to give you the updates within your network and on your profile. So if somebody's viewed one of your articles or if they've liked one of your pages, um, if somebody has posted an article, or commented on an article or shared uh, on somebody else's post. This is really where LinkedIn is so much more powerful than Facebook today. Facebook has limited what you see in your newsfeed down to like 25 individuals. It's quite strange. On LinkedIn, however, you get updates about what your connections are doing, and it's pretty robust. So definitely make sure that you are looking at those notifications and seeing what's happening. You get promoted through when it's your birthday, when it's your work anniversary. So always make sure to put dates down. These are just ways that LinkedIn helps you stay front and center within your network, even if you're not actively um, doing it. It could, it's more passive ways to stay in front of people. The next is me. Me allow, gives you access to your profile and your account settings.